the new year began with the old Today, it's commonplace for women to report wars. Before World War II, women were just shut out for the most part. But you always had a few brave and resolute souls who wanted to go forth and cover war, just like men. During World War II, the United States government accredited nearly 140 women war correspondents. But there was a catch. 1943, wire service reporter Ruth Cowan, 42 years old. After years of dutifully reporting stories destined for the women's pages, she became the first woman reporter to be accredited to the U.S. Army. Cowan wanted to bear witness to history in the making. In North Africa, where women correspondents were barred from using Army jeeps, Cowan was almost killed hitching a ride during an Army retreat. 1944, magazine reporter Martha Gellhorn, 36 years old, an experienced war correspondent and acclaimed author. She believed exposing the horrors of war could change the course of history. Gellhorn was one of the only reporters, male or female, to make it ashore during the D-Day invasion where women reporters were officially banned. She was arrested and stripped of her credentials. 1945, photographer Dickie Chappelle, 25 years old. Young and adventurous, Chappelle was determined to report the story of war from the front line. Restricted to an assignment aboard a hospital ship in the Pacific, Chappelle talked her way onto Okinawa, attempting to photograph action at the front. She was taken into custody and sent home in disgrace. War was man's territory. So the idea of a woman breaking into the male turf was unheard of. In fact, it just sort of shocked people. Women choosing to be in the middle of violent uh, confrontation that involves mud and weaponry and blood that's not where women are supposed to be. The restrictions on women reporters forced them to look elsewhere for the story of war. In the process of doing it, they created a new war story. It was not just a battlefield story and men telling the story. They changed the notion of what the war story could be and what, in fact, it was. 